there, my name is Samuel, and today we shall be taking a look at the Lego Ideas 213241231 Sesame Street, which did just release at the beginning of this month, which we are currently in November now. This set does contain 1,367 pieces, six minifigures, and this originally did retail for £110, $120, and the €120. Euros. And this, guys, was the first ever Lego Ideas set to give exclusive molds. So they had been dodging the bullet for a while, for example, with the Sonic screwdriver in Doctor Who and the hat, um, the hat pieces for making mini Steamboat Willie. So really, they have been skipping this bullet for a while. And honestly, this set has just absolutely been perfected like that, which hopefully gives hope for other um, exclusive like molds to be made, which of course they should be doing now. But as you can see, we have one main build. We have one, two, three Sesame. Street. Well, that's actually the streets. So now we have the Sesame Street main building house, and we do have Hoopers. And can I just say, guys? I'm not, like, a fan of the show. I'd only, like, last weekend, I did watch one episode, so I at least had a, a bit of a feeling of what was going on here. And um, it was, I have many questions about it. I won't be watching anymore, and I definitely won't be binging 50 episodes. I think I watched full t um, season 49 there, so one, the Thanksgiving one, that was the one that I saw, which was very interesting, I have to say. And, yeah, the accuracy looks really good, and from the intro, it does seem like Hoopers is there. So that um, I, that is really good, the accuracy and, like, the little corner part and birds and nests so yeah the accuracy looks really great on this set but without further ado let's take a look at the minifigures and the build itself so starting off with the minifigures here you can see we have elmo on the left and cookie monster on the right which honestly these look really awesome just minifigures in general the pieces look great and the way you can see we've got the light you can see they've honestly got a really weird glossy mouth which is quite weird to look at and there you can see their printing which, yeah, there isn't any. That's basically what I mean. There isn't any printing. And you can see the exclusive head moulds, which I really like the look of these. I think they're just so well done. And these minifigures may or may not uh, reappear in my best minifigures of the year. My top 25 minifigures. They may make an appearance there is the cookie. Which, honestly, I think this just looks really cool. Like, I really like the head pieces. And, yeah, there's not much printing on the body, which I know people have said is a shame. But honestly, I think it's fine, considering how expensive these new moulds are. Like, I, well, I was watching one, and apparently these could cost to, like, wasn't it, like, a thousand or something silly like that? It's very expensive. Or maybe some, anywhere from 300 to a thousand. But, anyway, there you can see them. You've got the white inside, which an interesting thing that someone pointed out is that and Cookie Monster's neck is slightly wider, which is just a nice little accuracy to the actual um, one on the show, which is really... Which is really awesome, and there you can see the fur on the back, and there you can see it on the back of Elmo's head. So that, honestly, I think that looks really cool. There you can see the back of Elmo's head. I do like the look of that. And then if we add that back to there. So that is Cookie Monster and Elmo, which I think are really awesome minifigures. Now let's take a look at Ernie and Bert, I believe are their names. And yes, I actually remembered their names. We have Ernie and Bert, which honestly, I think these are pretty cool, good looking minifigures. Um, Ernie, I would say is my favourite one. Just a head mould is a bit more complex and a bit more interesting. But honestly, I think they still look really cool. So there you can see Ernie, who's got all of this stripe printing and so has Bert. He reminds me of, wasn't there that show that, um, oh, I'm trying to think back to what it was, about like those, those pajama, like banana people things. That's what um, Bert really reminds me of, which is quite funny. But yeah, you can see the printing, which honestly I think is pretty cool. I like the fact that we get darker green versions of the mid legs, which is a pretty cool element to get in that size and colour. And there you can see the back printing, which honestly looks really cool. And guys, so what do you think of the camera quality? Does it look better? Because I am, um, I have got a ring light now and it does. I'm having a few issues trying to like find out the best place to put it, but I mean like the shots, they look a lot better lit up. But anyway, here you can see Ernie, which I think is a really cool headpiece. I like the look of that. There you can see what it looks like, which looks quite funny. And here you can see Ernie. Sorry, I said Ernie, I meant Bert's. I believe I said that anyway, but there is Ernie's, which I think is pretty awesome. And I like all like the texturing, texturing in the hair. I think it looks great. And popping back on the head, there you can see that, which honestly, these minifigures just look really awesome. So yeah, there's those two. Now let's move on to the final two, which here you can see we do have a big bird 
and Oscar the Grouch, which honestly, I think these are pretty awesome looking minifigures, especially Big Bird here. So as you can see, Big Bird has just got this absolutely new rubberized element. And I'm really surprised that they did this because this is their first time ever making new molds. I've kind of thought, my approach I would have thought they would have done is start small and then done bigger and bigger. But no, they went straight in the deep end with making a new mold, which is actually just, it's a really good thing to see them just really trying off really quick. Like, honestly, it's great to see. So, yeah, there's Big Bird's mold, which, honestly, I really like the look of that. It looks so good. And, yeah, so I know that some people are complaining about, like, it could get marked in the packaging because it doesn't come in a rubber package. Mine didn't, fortunately. But I would say, guys, just be on the safe side. Soon as you literally get to bag one, even if you're not building it for a day or two, just, uh, like, get it, open it, get Big Bird out. And I would just say, like, make because then by the time you build it, you'll either get your replacement would either leave, hopefully be there or you're just be able to get it out of the packaging before it does get damaged but then it also uses the chick um the costume chicken costume guy piece but in the um this normal solid yellow not the power yellow or white so there is big bird which honestly this I think he may end up reappearing on my favourite minifigure sets of the year. And then we have Oscar the Grouch, which they could have done with a new piece, I'm not going to lie. But I think it still looks pretty awesome. And the way they did it, yeah, it's used BB-8, which, um, yeah. So this year we've gone from seeing it to be BB-8, and then it literally just uses a bin. We've gone from it being bb 8 part, the balloons on Wizard Weasley's Wiz. And now this set which is um, really cool, I mean, for Oscar's head. So, yeah, there you can see that, which is pretty cool. I think, Oscar, they should have gave an exclusively new molded head with, like, a stud on the top for the lid or maybe a whole new, like, system for the bin and something like that. But anyway, there are those minifigures, which are look absolutely incredible. So, taking a look at the main outside itself, the exterior of the set, we first got some just some area just to look at because there's so much area that they have included outside of the building. So, first off, you can see that this is sort of on a, um, a bend, like a curve, which it is really cool. Lego very rarely do that on sets, which is pretty cool. So first off here, you can see we have this little area that says Sesame Street Daily Winter Porridge Shortage. And then if we take a look at this printed element, sorry, stickered element, it says, um, heresy, um, hearsay, hearsay? Hearsay Daily with Super Grover saves the day again, which that looks pretty awesome. And I know that that is a character that everyone has really wanted to get in this set. It is a shame we didn't get um, more, but um, I've got a theory and I know lots of people do on exactly that area, which we shall show in a minute. But then moving on past the fire hydrant, you can see that it's just sort of a typical build. Nothing too special. You then have a, um, what Oscar the Grouch over here, which I think looks pretty awesome. I do like the look of that. It's a really nice area. Like, I'm not going to lie. It looks really nice. Removing that here, you can see what it looks like. Which, you've got this, like, really nice garbage area, which I think is really nice. You've got, like, that pizza box, which is pretty cool. And just some elements like that. And, yeah, then you've also got Oscar the Grouch where he goes. And you've also got Slimy. I believe, is that character's name? I didn't actually show it in the character section. So, I'd show you it here on the build, because that's where it's meant to go. Then you have, like, this little... What do you want to call it? Like a little gate. And then you've also got this bin in the corner, which is a really nice build. I'm not going to lie. It's a pretty unique build for a bin, which you can see that here. And then also there's this underground area that you can see, see on screen now. Sorry, the quality isn't the best, but I took that. I was building at night, so that's what it looks like, which is really interesting. I have to admit, it's quite interesting the way they've done it. And then moving on over to here, here you can see, like, the stairs, which I think this is done pretty well, I have to admit. This area just looks quite smoothed out and just really well done. And then you can see cooking with oatmeal, which is this book. And then taking a look at the book, it says recipe, one cup of oatmeal, one mango and buttermilk. So, gosh knows what that's going to end up making. And then moving up, we have these little pieces which is really cool to see they're from dots i believe someone said so that's of course my first time getting them which they're like i don't know what material it is but it's not like i don't think it's normal lego plastic it feels sort of like a, uh, i don't know a, like a combat a combined element it feels like a bit ru um, rubbery a bit plasticky and then here you can see that element on the side which looks really awesome and then taking a look at most probably one of the most iconic parts, I have to admit, it is pretty awesome, this part. The 1, 2, 3, Sesame Street. These are the only printed elements in the set which are exclusively made for this set, 
which is quite disappointing, I have to admit. And you've got this so like new bold piece for like Mysterio, which I don't think they're using this particular one as it's a glittery one, but still, then here you can see this lamppost, which is pretty cool. And moving around the corner, here you can see we just got Big Bird's area. There's also this mailbox, which the idea is, is that you're meant to just pop it there and you can see that that oops that wasn't on hard enough but they're moving over you can see we have a another mailbox which i don't get maybe that's actually a bin sorry yeah i think no that's a bin yeah so that's a bin then you can see the mailbox and then you have this sticker with someone called snuffy and then you've got this little corner part which i think is just done so well this area then you can see just big birds like really nice tree area i think it looks pretty nice i like the look of that there you can see the tree which is pretty nice and there you can see the little um barrel which does contain two rolls skates on top of each other that you can put on big bird if you wish to and his um little teddy then also you have this sticker of a character i don't know who that is by big bird uh, i honestly don't know it sort of reminds me of jack black i believe is his name it sort of reminds me of him but then it may be the owner of Hoopers, potentially. Honestly, I, I'm not too sure on that. But here you can see this element, which this is the old design for that. Because as I'm not sure if I said before, but they are redoing those elements. And there you can see that, which I think is pretty cool. I do like the look of that birdhouse. And moving just to the side of this set, it looks really cool. Here you can see we just have this like really nice portion, this um, vertical portion, of course. You've got the old milk cart and you've got a little bird table. You've got a little stick that just um, hits far short of the wall and then stuff like that. So that looks pretty cool. You can see that. And this element, I don't think I've ever seen before. It's a door, but it's got three studs on it. Like, honestly, I've never seen that in my in my whole building career. <laughs> career, no, in my whole building what do you call it in my whole building um yeah it's just everything i built so far then you've got all the windows and just everything out here just looks perfectly done then moving again over to hoopers there you can see that with the door and then you just got these like really nice areas i have to admit i like the look of that you can see we have the sign for hoopers which is pretty cool then moving past the air duct on top we then go to this side which there's honestly a lot here as well if you need it hoopers has it then you've got that which is pretty cool. You've got a bit of a stud um, hollow at the back, but that is fine. Then you've got this area, which is basically just like a little open... What do you want to call it? Just a little um, open part. Then if we remove the lantern, you can just see there's quite a lot of good stickers in this area. You can see that we do have that really nice yellow one over there, which honestly, I think that's really well done. Then, of course, we got the table, which, oops, that should be placed there. Here you can see Cookie Monster sitting there, which looks really awesome. And then we've also got this, which again looks pretty cool. And yeah, that's basically most of the outside that you can like put figures on with a feature. I suppose there's one more then. Then you can see we have this little wall. And the one that I'm talking about is up here, which I'm not sure if you're meant to, but the idea is that you can, if you want to, move that down. And you can sort of create a ladder. You can see that character with the wand, which I suppose maybe should be the next one in the other set if we do get one. And then you can see Biff's and Sally's Construction Co. Just like her, especially her mould. Some of the moulds just look a bit more like they've been detailed. Like they've actually seemed like they're more realistically planned out. Which is a shame why we never got a Doctor Who CMF because they was planned out in Lego Dimensions. But anyway, there you can see the street lamppost, which is really cool, and the green parts. So yeah, that is basically most of the exterior. But now let's take a look at the interior of the set. Which then coming through the doors here, you can see this area, which is really nice. This is basically the bedroom of Elmo, which I like the look of. Then here you can see the sticker sheet. Which is really awesome of like a billboard. You can see some other characters. And Ivan is the um, creator of the set from Ideas. You can see his to-do list. Which is really cool. I like the fact that they do give like the, um, what do you call it? The writer a bit of inclusion in the manual as well. I just think it's a um, really cool thing. That's what I mean in here. Like, actually, I don't think they mentioned him in the um, manual. Which is a bit uh, weird. But yeah, it's great that they at least include him. Uh, reference him in the set. I think it's great when they do it like that. Because I know that they did it with another set, didn't they? Recently, I do believe. And then here you can see we have Elmo and his dad, which looks really cool. There you can see there's these two other characters. And then, yeah, that's basically all of the, like, print stickers in there. Then you can see this big um, tiled one, which is apparently from the Big Bang. I think they said that set or that. Yeah, I think it was that set. Or maybe it was the cafe. I, the air yeah, was Big Bang, I do believe. And then here you can see we have Dor Dorothy, I believe, in that fish bowl. We have the rocket. We then got the rabbit, which is literally I checked the same one from series. Uh, 
20. Yeah, I thought it was Series 19, but yeah, that is literally just the same one, which is pretty cool, I guess. But it's disappointing that they did that. And then this is actually a remake of a, a Lego train. Like, it's not one to do with Elmo, I don't believe. That's what they said in the designer video. And then you've got this bed and just this little lampshade in the corner, which is really nice. And you can see the track goes under the bed. And yeah, that is basically what is in Elmo's room, which I think is pretty cool. And now let's take a look at the other one. Taking a look at Ernie and Bert's bedroom, which I've got a very few questioning um, things that are in here. Like, why on earth has he got a bathtub with no wall? Hey, where is the privacy? Look at all these windows. You've got one curtain. Like, we seriously got some privacy issues in this building block here. But anyway, here you can see we have this, which they gave me a spare part that you actually attach it to. And there you can see just what this looks like, which honestly... This, like, this has got some of the most complex builds I've ever seen. Like, this bathtub uses those new cell pieces. Then you've got this chair, which, believe it or not, of course, like, I didn't realise, and this was the issue with um, Cookie Monster, he, he fits. Due to them having, the, like, the medium legs, they can just about fit in um, those kind of spaces, which is really cool. I like that they've managed to figure that out. And then here, you can see the bed. And honestly, I'm not really sure why it's dusty. It's been a week, but it gets so dusty in here. It does my head in. But then also, you can see we have this, like, clay... clay paper clips box which i'm not exactly sure i believe that's to do with ernie though because it has ernie on the left and i just presume that, that that's because you wouldn't have like the photo and then the beds the other way around well wouldn't have thought but anyway here you can see these little um what's called bottle caps i believe which apparently he does collect you got the blank minecraft skull in the black back and then you've also got the dinosaur at the back and just his clock which looks really nice i like the look of that that sticker looks pretty awesome and then you've also got just these like book detailings behind and then you can put ernie inside here which um yeah hopefully he keeps his jumper on or at least some swimwear but um yeah that's that sale which honestly i think it's just really funny just like why have they done it like this and the thing i never get dark green always looks damaged to me always does and then here you can see the top of the set which i have to admit looks pretty nice you do have this like bird avery little house thing up here and then you've got this chimney. And this is like a little UFO. I'll show that at the end. Apparently it has to do with like an episode and the aerial. And yeah, you got, of course you've got that, like I said. And that is basically the back side of the set. Here is also a better front look of that up there, which is pretty cool. And I quickly just wanted to bring a notice to this, which I really like this element. I think that build is great. It's upside down. And also there should be one more window there, which that means it's not accurate, which you know I will mostly say more to. And there's also these like little plant pots over there. So yeah that is basically the exterior of that of just wanted to finish that off let's quickly show hoopers and then i'll do my final thoughts on the set taking a look at hoopers here you can see what it looks like which honestly i really should have just um taken a photo or a recording at some point when i'd done this but then again it would have been too late but here you can see what it looks like which it does look pretty cool and what we actually can do guys as it's not too hard we can literally just pull off the roof it isn't too hard to do that and here you can see this area, which I think this looks really nice. You've got the cash register. You've got some, like, just little potions. No, not potions, sorry. Just little boxes and just drinks and just stuff like that. I don't know why I'm saying potions. And then you've got that nut piece, which is from the Lego Minions, which is pretty cool to see that. And here you can see the interior of this, which I think looks pretty awesome. There you can see we have that seat. And then popping back on the wall, you can see there's some Technic pins. And this doesn't sit down. Why does nothing ever sit down? It's getting a bit bad in that corner. It winds me up so much. It's like, why does it not um, attach? I don't get why that happens quite a lot with Lego. But anyway, then here you can see we do have... Um this room, which I might as well just show you it separated. Um, yeah, it looks pretty cool. You have Count, which I think this is another figure we will get in another set. There you can see what Count looks like, which honestly, I think he looks really awesome. I love the look of that sticker. Again, no clue why it looks really dusty, the TV. You can see this ice cream truck. And then you can see this telly with um, the news reporter guy. We've got some VHS tapes, which if you don't know, those are basically what came before DVDs and before digital. Because why people got, I don't get digital TV, being honest. I prefer like hard copies for everything. But then here you can see the seat, which is pretty cool. And Cookie Monster can sit in this again. I don't know why, but like he's just like, all the seats just seem mainly made for him. You can see it's like a little gold pot in the background. And yeah, you've got some like little trophies and stuff on the back, which is pretty cool. You have another cookie on the floor because clearly he doesn't exactly know what to do. But yeah, so you can see that we have these holes. And um, the main um, common speculation is that it will come 
um, there will be another set, and I think it will. So if you say Lego Ideas, they can't expand it or do it a theme, look at Minecraft. It's one of the biggest themes. I don't really understand that theme, as I've said before, but, like, um, yeah, it started off as Ideas. And um, actually, one quick note. I just want to say there is a bit of a hole up here. Look, you can see it just slightly above the door, which is annoying. I think it would have been better if they used, like, a, uh, one that's too wide. And then you've also got this um, little flying saucer. But anyway, going back to what... I was saying I think what they're gonna do because I had a look there is a red shop I can't find a perfect image but attaches here in the actual show and Hoopers is bigger so I think they're either gonna continue Hoopers just a tad with a bit more detail and I think maybe it will come with Mr. Hooper I think that would make sense or Hoopers or whatever I keep thinking of Hopper from Stranger Things but I think what they'll do, they'll extend it. It will come with Count, you know, the pink woman character, fairy lady. And then it will come with, um, what's his name, Grover. I think it may come with Hooper if they want to do one humanoid character. And then I just think it will, like, finish off around here. To me, it makes sense because I just don't see Lego keeping a set like this, just with a massive gaping hole. So I know lots of people have complained about it, which I do understand what people get, get why they get annoyed. But yeah, that's basically that. Then also you've got this like little um UV um vent up here, which is pretty cool. I like the look of that, and you can see this and um, back, which is to do with the account. So there you can see that, which I think that is pretty awesome. So overall, guys, I think this set is honestly a really awesome set. And this is one of my favourite idea sets. I'm hoping on Sunday to have my ranking every Lego idea set. So I will cover exactly where does this hit. But honestly, this has um skipped one set. It has, I would say, knocked it out. I, will, I may post, a, I don't know, I might post a teaser on what set this is competing against on my, what would you call it, on my Lego Instagram official page, which I do have, I forget to say. But yeah, honestly, I think this set is honestly just such an incredible set. The minifigures are great and just everything about it is great. Yeah, it's a bit annoying with the door and like exactly what's going on here. But I know some people turn it around. But I'm just hoping that we get one with Grover and Count. Then we get the um, the fairy character, the fairy puppet. And then we get Mr. Hooper. So yeah, overall, I think this is an amazing set. And I would definitely recommend it for anyone, really. Even if you don't like Sesame Street, it's not too hard, I would say. Like, leave off the stickers and like, you can still call it one, two, three Sesame Street if you don't like it, I would say, because you could just say, oh yeah, your building's inspired or nicknamed after it, you know? So yeah, thank you guys for watching this video. This honestly does give me um hope for um new molded characters in the future. And remember to leave a like, comment, and subscribe, and I shall see you in tomorrow's video. I'll see you there. Bye for now.